Breakfast and of choice? I would say Eggs Benedict and a, with a really healthy shake, um, some waffles. No booze? No booze. <laughs> now 78 years old, Susan Sarandon continues to amaze us with her glamorous and youthful appearance. And as expected, the actress pays a lot of attention to her health to age gracefully. If you want to know her secret, then stick around until the end of this video. Born on October 4, 1946, Susan's childhood was nurtured in the bustling city of New York. She was born in Jackson Heights, Queens in New York City, born to an advertising executive Philip Leslie Tomlin and a housewife mother Lenora Marie Christian. Young Susan was the oldest out of nine siblings, and it was only a matter of time before she would make a name of her own in the industry. In 1972, Susan made her Broadway debut with the play An Evening with Richard Nixon, but it was not until 1973 that she had her breakthrough when she played the iconic character Janet Weiss in the rock musical The Rocky Horror Show. Susan took the film industry by storm, and the moment she started acting, the actress was able to prove her talent and passion. Soon after, her career took off in the late 1970s and early 1980s, with parts in movies like Atlantic City and The Hunger. And so films for me are generated by the stories that I want to tell, that I want people to see on the screen, are the ones that encourage you to be the protagonist in your own life. However, her role as Louise in Ridley Scott's Thelma and Louise propelled her to international recognition, giving Susan her first Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. With so much going on in her professional and private life, how can a 78-year-old stay so youthful? In this video, we will talk about Susan's skincare routine and exercise routine. We will also share the four foods she eats and the foods she avoids to stay healthy. Lastly, we will talk about how she dealt after being diagnosed with endometriosis and how she was able to recover. Let's get started with Susan's skincare routine. My daughter schools me a lot. Wash your face at night before you go to bed, take your makeup off, I think that's important. Contrary to popular belief, Susan does not rely heavily on cosmetics to keep her appearance pleasing whenever she goes out for events. This is because Susan believes that as you age, less is more for beauty products. She avoids colored eyeshadow and advises finding your style. Surprisingly, she has not considered plastic surgery or Botox. However, while she encourages everyone to be content with the way they look, she also believes everyone should do what makes them feel good about themselves. Susan favors regular dermabrasion treatments to remove skin cells and keep her face looking young and fresh. She also mentioned how is not very fond of body enhancement procedures, saying, it makes me uncomfortable to see really large breast and butt implants. I don't quite understand what it's like to live with that. It would be like sitting in your purse all the time. Four foods Susan eats to maintain her health. Brown rice. Susan's diet can be described as balanced which is why she also eats carbs to make sure she doesn't restrict herself too much. However, when it comes to her carbs intake, the actress prefers whole grains, specifically brown rice. When asked about it, the dead man walking actress told WebMD that her metabolism has altered after going through menopause, so she can't consume as many carbohydrates as she used to. While she reduces her intake, she still consumes nutritious grains such as brown rice, especially to accommodate the change in her metabolism as mentioned before. She said, but I do allow some carbs. The key is to pick the right carbs like fruits or whole grains. Susan's choice is surely a good one. Brown rice is an excellent source of energetic carbohydrates. As a whole grain, it has greater health advantages than white rice. This is because brown rice carries an abundance of health benefits which can be credited to its wholeness. Some of it includes benefits in heart health, blood sugar control, and weight management. Claims about the health benefits of brown rice are supported by many studies, one of which was published by Shaw Anabe. In his study, the author pointed out how many Japanese people would eat rice every day. However, they failed to recognize the endless health benefits if they switch things up and consume whole grain instead of the typical white rice just like what Susan is doing. Specifically, the study revealed that large germ brown rice and pre-germinated brown rice both have beneficial elements that can help prevent dementia. Additionally, brown rice contains a lot of GABA that reduces stress and help alleviates menopausal symptoms. Susan's effort to consume brown rice and monitor her carbohydrate intake is part of her mindfulness in adjusting accordingly to the changes happening in her body as she grew older, and I think we can all agree that it's working pretty well based on the way she looks and feels about her body. Broccoli The actress has mentioned a couple of times she loves eating healthily. 
In an interview, the actress said, I really do try to focus on eating as many fruits and vegetables as possible. She also revealed that she takes a couple of spoonfuls of green stuff, a powdered version of organically cultivated vegetables, including broccoli, kale, parsley, wheat grass, flaxseed, and root vegetables such as turnips and parsnips. Contrary to popular belief, broccoli comes from the wild mustard plant before farmers gradually bred it into the crisp green vegetable we know today and it's high in nutrients. In addition to the vitamins and minerals, broccoli contains a variety of natural compounds that scientists are constantly discovering. The most notable of them is sulforaphane, a sulfur chemical that may aid in the treatment of certain diseases such as diabetes, cancer, osteoarthritis, and schizophrenia. However, this is not the only reason why Susan prefers these greens. Broccoli is actually a cruciferous vegetable high in antioxidants and other health-promoting plant components. It may also provide several advantages, including eye health, heart health, and illness prevention. This green vegetable can be eaten raw or cooked, but a new study suggests that mild steaming delivers the best health advantages. For instance, the research found in the National Library of Medicine revealed that as cruciferous vegetables, broccoli is a rich source of glucosinolates, which are metabolized to isotheocyanic compounds that have significant anti-inflammatory and antioxidant capabilities which serve to protect our cells from disease-causing damage. But wait, there's more because other than that, broccoli can also protect our cells from different kinds of cancer such as breast, prostate, stomach, colorectal, kidney, and bladder cancer. And for Susan who experienced a cancer scare a couple of years back, purposely including broccoli in her diet is part of her commitment to stay cancer-free. Parsley. Another vegetable Susan likes to include in her diet is parsley. Aside from being used as a garnish, the actress utilizes parsley as part of her diet because of its health benefits. The two most popular varieties of parsley are French curly leaf and Italian flat leaf. And while it is commonly used as a fresh culinary herb or a dried spice, parsley is now regarded as one of the most powerful disease-fighting herbs with a high nutritional value and health advantages. Parsley has one of the highest my rice tin contents per 100 grams. My rice tin has also been linked to a lower risk of developing skin cancer. Aside from that, parsley and other green herbs and vegetables help reduce the cancer-causing effects of heterocyclic amines or chemical substances with cancer-causing properties. These chemicals are produced when meat is cooked at high heat so those who enjoy charred steak can mix it with green vegetables like parsley to help mitigate these possibly detrimental effects. An article published in WebMD gives a nod to this and lists a handful of benefits from eating parsley. Based on research, parsley contains several vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. This means it is a very good source of vitamin K and one tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley contains more than 70% of the required daily vitamin consumption. On top of this, parsley includes a high concentration of vitamin A as well as flavonoids and antioxidants. Berries Last but not least, Susan also loves eating fruits and vegetables that contain high levels of antioxidants in her diet. When asked about it, the actress was very straight to the point and said, really it's about eating proper fruits and vegetables. Specifically, she prefers those containing antioxidants like berries. Why? Well, berries have been regarded as a superfood for a long time. They are usually abundant in fiber, vitamin C, and antioxidant polyphenols. On top of this, berries may help prevent or alleviate the symptoms of several chronic conditions. At the time, berries, specifically blueberries, also contain antioxidant polyphenols known as anthocyanins. Anthocyanins may decrease oxidative stress, decreasing the risk of heart disease in both healthy and high-risk individuals. Experts like Elisa Pacheco, a registered dietitian with 10 years of experience, also vouch that these fruits offer several health benefits including inflammation reduction. At the same time, it helps with chronic inflammation type 2 diabetes, autoimmune diseases, CAS, asthma, arthritis, cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's, and many more. So there's a huge possibility that eating berries and maximizing their potential and health benefits is one of the reasons why Susan is still fit and healthy despite her age. Susan's Exercise Routine Aside from this, Susan is also very mindful about her exercise routine. Talking to people, the actress shared that exercising helped her keep her appearance glowing and youthful. When asked about her routine, Susan said, If you want to age gracefully, you don't smoke cigarettes and probably laugh a lot, and get the normal amount of exercise and eat well and stay out of the sun would be the main things. 
Despite seemingly having a standard fitness routine, Susan proved that aging gracefully requires more than just standard. This was after she took up boxing and incorporated the sport into her routine. Aside from this, Susan is into biking and running and revealed how living in New York allows her to stay active. Either pedaling down to the West Side Highway or running on the treadmill for 30 minutes, Susan takes every opportunity she can work out. The actress said, I'm lucky to live in New York because that means I do a lot of walking. That's always great for your health, plus it's a way to get around the city, so it doesn't feel like I'm exercising. An article published in the Harvard Health Blog suggests that running is one of the most beneficial exercises out there. They even mentioned research published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology which found that even 5 to 10 minutes of low-intensity jogging per day can increase life expectancy by several years. Additionally, biking has also proven an effective way to stay fit and healthy. Another study found in the National Library of Medicine confirms that adults who commute to work or add cycling to their exercise routines experience consistent improvements in their cardiovascular fitness and some improvements in cardiovascular risk factors. Eating healthily and exercising is not enough and, of course, Susan also has a list of the foods she does not eat. Food Susan never eats. Red meat. Susan shared she is not fond of red meat, saying, I don't eat a lot of red meat. This is the reason she has been a vegetarian for years now. While she ditched that lifestyle, the actress still makes an effort to avoid eating so much red meat. Throughout the years, public health experts have advised Americans to reduce their intake of red meat and processed meats, citing fears that these meals are connected to heart disease, cancer, and other illnesses. At the same time, red meats are high in saturated fats, which can raise LDL, also known as bad cholesterol. And in the long run, this can increase your risk of cardiovascular disease. Not to mention that studies have shown that consuming red and processed meat is related to greater incidences of obesity in both children and adults. On top of this, research conducted by the Harvard School of Public Health revealed that too much meat intake can lead to serious health problems such as heart disease and cancer. Additionally, eating red and processed meat daily might increase your chance of developing type 2 diabetes and stroke. And as a health-conscious person, Susan knows what food she needs to avoid to keep her lifestyle in check. White bread. The actress tries to avoid any unhealthy carbs. This includes white bread. This was after she noticed how her metabolism changed when she went through menopause. I went through menopause late and uneventfully, she says. A lot of people I knew were on hormone replacement therapy, but I never went down that road. To adjust, she made sure to look after her carbohydrate intake and avoided eating anything that did not fall within her checklist. White bread is a popular and convenient food and most people like to keep a loaf or two in their pantry for an easy and quick snack. However, it has relatively little nourishment. This is why a lot of studies will point out that white bread is unhealthy, potentially fatty, and may be responsible for adverse health impacts. For instance, research published in Nature Medicine confirmed that eating white bread should be limited. Specifically, from over 20,000 people, experts believe that 55% of people should only consume white bread occasionally and in modest amounts. If you are yet convinced, the same research pointed out that white bread is a manufactured product with low-quality carbohydrates. Additionally, it may have extra sugar, so eating white bread can produce significant blood sugar spikes, which are harmful to your health. Susan's Battle with Endometriosis and so what they said was, okay, you have endometriosis. I had no idea what that was. They didn't explain it to me. And they said, you know, if you ever want a child, you'll probably have to have surgery. But what we'll do for you now, and you'll be perfectly fine, is we'll just put you on a whole bunch of uh, birth control pills. You won't get your period, and we'll give you painkillers when you finally go off them. Um While Susan tried throughout the years to stay healthy, the actress had to deal with a health scare when she was diagnosed with endometriosis and she had been very vocal about it. The World Health Organization describes endometriosis as a disease in which tissue similar to the lining of the uterus grows outside the uterus. It can cause severe pain in the pelvis and make it harder to get pregnant. The World Health Organization also revealed that endometriosis can begin with a person's first menstrual cycle and continue until menopause. This is a condition in which tissue comparable to the uterine lining develops outside of the uterus and causes inflammation and scar tissue to grow in the pelvic area and, in rare cases, elsewhere in the body. 
She spoke about her struggles with the disease at the Blossom Ball, stating that it is not a woman's fate in life to be in agony. Susan also encouraged everyone to get out and share the word that it is not acceptable to lose out on likes opportunities due to endometriosis-related discomfort. When all you know is pain, you don't know that that is not normal. It is not a woman's lot to suffer, even if we've been raised that way, she said during her speech. The actress also revealed how she felt when she found out. During her speech, Susan talked about her struggle with infertility and how many doctors had failed to diagnose her correctly throughout the years. At one point, the actress admitted that she was not aware enough about endometriosis and it made her situation a lot harder. In the end, she had to undergo surgery. However, after learning about her condition, the actress encouraged other women to do better and educate themselves to address this health situation. The etiology of endometriosis is uncertain and at present, there is no recognized way to avoid it. This means there is no known cure at the moment, but the symptoms can be managed with medication or surgery. Overall, Susan's health journey revolves around her simple yet purposely life of aging gracefully.